Hello and welcome to another video. So today we are going to show you guys how what using Windows 95 in 2018 looks like. So let's get started. I love VMware's because I don't have to worry about having to buy another computer of having to run an operating system. So as you can see it's starting Windows 95. And holy crap, it it booted up to Windows 95 really quickly, thanks to VMware. If this would have been on an actual computer, it would have been taking like 2-4 to four minutes, but it, thanks to VMware for booting up so fast. So as you can see, Windows 95's default de desktop is usually a shade of blue and green. Makes it make it more like a teal color to me, in my opinion. And it should be noted that if you guys watched a video about Teams React to Windows 95, you could go check it out. And this is one of the first versions of Windows to introduce the Start button, Start menu, Taskbar, and even as well Internet Explorer. So even though Internet Explorer as we know it, it was depreciated by Microsoft Edge, but it's still in Windows 10 today. So, as you can see, the Start menu is exactly similar to Windows 10 start menu but Windows 10 also has to start menu same thing goes with Windows XP and Windows Vista and 7 except for Windows 8.1 doesn't have a start menu unfortunately so as you can see you have all the simple included programs so as you can see this is the MS-DOS command prompt if you guys aren't aware about this kind of command prompt this was a command prompt that was used to build 9x consumer versions of Windows off of DOS and whatever it allows you to run DOS programs, DOS commands, open some applications like, for example, Nope. Huh? It opens to Notepad.exe. That's pretty. That's pretty good. But let's go and exit out of here. And as you can see, you have a bunch of these little programs, but you have four games that are viable in Windows 95, that's way less. And this is, I think this is one of the first versions of Windows to introduce Minesweeper. So this is Minesweeper, and wow, yeah, whoops, sorry, I just lost on Minesweeper for you guys. So. Yeah, I'm always stupid on Minesweeper. And you have internet mail. Whoops. So I'm gonna be right back, and I'm not gonna get this little these little beepings. Okay, I'm back, and I muted the uh, VMX volume, which might jump scare some of you. But at least I did because of the little beeping, since there is no actual audio drivers for Windows 95. Even as well, the stupid VMware tools won't let me fit the screen resolution, so I have to fit my screen resolution, my 1600 and 900 resolution with 1152 by 864 instead. So, yeah. So I'll get you guys to the background screen savers later. So as you can see, it's got something... Windows messaging. I don't know what it is. As you can see. And WordPad is just exactly the same as in Windows Vista, which is 23 years old. And Notepad. It's exactly the same as in modern versions of Windows. And it's as well 23 years old. And Paint is exactly the same all the way through Windows Vista it's also 23 years old and all these programs are 23 years old and as you can see we have um let's see whoops calculator yeah sorry with this little mouse lag because the VMware tools won't let me install the drivers for the mouse lag fix but it won't so I'm still stuck with that, unfortunately. Calculator is exactly the same through Windows Vista. Come on. So as you can see. 
in X and Ope. As you can see, Windows Media Player. And I don't know which version of Windows Media Player is. It's released in 1996. It could be upgradable all the way to version 6. And if you guys aren't aware of this, then of course the latest version that they're right now on is version 12. But it's out of date, but it's still in Windows 10 today as well. So as you can see, back to here. CD player, which is no longer included on modern versions of Windows anymore. And, let's see. Imaging. Nope. Okay. Alright. So, uh, let's see. Phone dialer. Online registration. Hyper terminal. And if you guys have never seen hyper terminal before, let's see. I know this is so old. So yeah, that's that's a pretty old program. Okay, what else? Um, if see AOL. So you can see I don't have a modem anyway, so it's anyways not working. The internet's not working out here, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it's extremely disappointing to not get internet working because I wish I wish I really experienced Windows 95's internet connection, but it won't let me to for some reason. So yeah, that's part of the reason why some people hated Windows 95 because it won't connect to the internet for some reason. And even as well, it's just not good as Windows 10 or 7 or XP. Okay, so what else? Well, let's see. Let's see. Internet news. Okay. So, let's see. Now it's time for Internet Explorer. So, if you guys aren't aware, this interface is extremely old by today's standards. Man, these buttons and the interface is extremely old so this is version 3 so yet yeah, it's really 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 old right now but as you can see it won't let me download opera for some reason yeah it won't let me to it's because due to windows 95's crack compatibility some crappy compatibility with windows 95 for some reason and okay, so and now let's get to what the wallpapers are. So they don't have really actual patterns. Like they, yeah, they only have yeah, they only have actual patterns. They don't have real pictures. So which means that they just don't have patterns. They don't have real pictures. Like, for example, here's blue, black, and another blue, and yeah, this is some shade of yellow and gray. Here's white, and there's gold. Yeah, they don't have actual patterns, so yeah. Yeah, they only have patterns, I mean, sorry, they only have patterns, not, not actual pictures, unfortunately. So, it's also pretty famous for having a lot of screensavers that it has. Yeah, that's where all the screensavers are. But one of the most famous Windows screensavers at Windows 95 as well as older versions of Windows below Windows XP to Windows 95 has is one of this little house is the maze this is one of my favorites as a little kid back then when we used to I think Windows ME or Windows 2000 now then we've upgraded to Windows XP on the same computer we have Windows 2000 or ME we have so yeah and it says this program has performed an illegal operation so if you guys aren't aware about this little error message it it's not how it broke the law it means that it ran into some kind of error 
I don't know why they call it illegal for some reason. And dang it, the screen is a little small now. Yeah. Okay, so. So you can see we're gonna go to my computer and. In Windows 95's File Explorer doesn't have this little address bar, sidebar. They only have the toolbar, status bar, no sidebar, no address bar like you did with Windows 7, XP, Vista 10, 8.1. So yeah, it's, as you can see, once again, Windows 95 is really simple to use. And yeah, so here's another annoying thing. It opens a folder in its own separate window. I don't like that. I, I like them all to be in the same window. Which is why he can set to be that way. So you go browser C drive. Yes, that's what the file explorer looks like in Windows 95. And let's get to the search. So you see, for example, we go to program files. So yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't look as good as Windows 10 search or Vista's or 7 search. So yeah, oh darn, that was really quick. <laughs> this is faster than Windows 10 could find it. Okay, it's a text document. Okay, so we're going to type in find this file if you can. Okay. Find this file if you can Windows. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff it brings up. Yeah, once again, it's not as good as Windows 10 Search. So yeah, Windows 10 Search also has the Cortana thing. And yeah, it's a the recycling bin. The recycling bin in Windows 95 is exactly the same in, win in modern versions of Windows. See, so it also has the run command. I think this is one of the first versions of Windows to use the run command. So yeah, in the control panel, this is what control panel looked like in Windows 95. But in Windows 10, they're moving it to the new settings app. But control panel still exists in Windows 10. Once again, they're moving all most of the options, like personalizing your PC, to the new settings app. All right. So, yeah, and then, and then the last but not least part is we're going to uh, shut down the computer since I shut you guys everything in Windows 95. And this was the part that tripped up the kids and teens react. The message says it's now safe to turn off your computer. Well, you know how in today's world stuff actually turns off when you press turn off? Well, back in Windows 95 and 98, it didn't used to do that. So as a result, after you see that message, and once it displays that message, you have to go turn it off with the power button, which I can simulate in VMware, but I tr yeah, I did no questions asked in Windows NT only, but with Windows 95, it shuts down automatically, that's cool. So, and that was it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos in mind. Thank you for watching everyone, and peace out. Thank you for watching.